All right, guys, so I forgot my camera yesterday, but I kind of wanted to show you what I did to get the siding and everything put up on here. Okay. So, so what I've done basically is I've taken this corrugated plastic and I took these little tappable, uh, like little button screws basically, and I tapped it into my aluminum frame and I definitely overkilled it. But the point is, is I don't want it to come off. So <coughs> I've done this here, this piece here, and I've done this whole part of the blind. This is gonna be my opening, my gap basically, that I'm gonna look through. And I may cut this back a little bit because it may be a little bit high. But uh, you can see that this is pretty much all covered. Um, but you can see kind of what the inside of this is gonna be like. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna install a bench in here as well and I'll show you that as that goes along but I chose this plastic because it's really durable um, I mean it's freaking tough even if you poke a hole in it because it's ribbed it doesn't really ruin the integrity of the plastic itself you can see I've put little holes in it in different spots but uh, it's really really tough and I think it'll work really good for my blind because it's lightweight um, it's completely waterproof and uh, it's kind of flexible, so I was able to get kind of the, the curves and the dimensions I wanted with my blind. All right, so I finally got the whole blind paneled, okay? Um, I've got the entire inside paneled, if you can see in there. And I got my dog door here ready to go. I got my door on. And I've got this side paneled and the back paneled over there. All right, guys, so... The boat's inside, it's paint day. I kinda wanted to show you what I did here. I got this whole thing covered in chicken wire as that was the next step after I got all my siding put on. And uh, yeah, um, chicken wire. I'm not gonna pretend like I can tell you how to do this. Look up some stuff online because that's what I ended up doing. It's basically you just put it in in your four corners and stretch it as tight as you can so that it's attached to your blind. I've got every piece of paneling uh, chicken wired and now it is time to paint. We're almost done with the boat um, After I put the chicken wire on I painted it and uh, I think it looks pretty good um, basically what we're gonna do is We're gonna cover this whole thing with brush now and uh, We've got this Giant pile of weeds behind us that we're gonna use but I kind of wanted to show you What I did to paint this now this because this is raw aluminum, you have to use a special type of primer and it's called self-etching primer. It's got like an acid in it uh, so that it will grip to that, to that aluminum really well. Um, initially I was gonna do the whole thing tan, but the gray primer turned out to be a green color instead. And so I decided I was just gonna leave it the way that it was. Painted all the rest of this with like a Rust-Oleum camouflage paint and then uh, Ran stripes down it, and from a distance, it almost looks like an old bottomlands camo. But uh, now, what we're going to do is we're just going to start shoving brush through this whole thing and get it all brushed up, and uh, it's finished. And I'm pretty excited about it. So I'll uh, show you what it's like when it's finished. All right. Well, we just finished brushing it all up, and uh, it looks pretty dang good. Gary, pop yourself. Oh, there you are. So, basically just packed all that, uh, all that chicken wire full of brush and weeds and stuff like that. And as you can see, when Gary stands up, he'll be able to shoot pretty well. And then when he closes his door, whoop, he's hidden. And that is the boat blind. We're going to get uh, the cover on the back of the... Uh, motor there when we hunt as well but uh, that's it that's it show you the front how I did the door too I mean the whole thing's just a big big pile of brush and you can see from here what the inside is like and uh, how we're gonna be able to hunt out of here and the viewing gap that we've got. Um, I'm pretty excited. 
we uh, put a lot of effort into this and uh, it took me a long time to build this thing and I'm super happy that it's done and uh, hopefully the next video that I get out to you guys here soon will be of us hunting in this blind and uh, showing you how well it works. I am just crazy excited for it. So just to show you guys what it's like inside of here, um, this is that viewing gap that you've got. Some viewing gaps here. And when it's time to shoot, just push it open. And that's, that's it. That's it, and that shelf is gonna go right here. And uh, she's ready to hunt, man. I'm, I'm just crazy excited about this. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this tutorial and uh, you feel like I missed anything at all, please let me know down below if you need any other explanation on what I did, if you feel like there's something that I missed because these tutorial videos are pretty hard to do. Um, hit me up in the comments and I'll answer any questions that I can. Um, thanks again and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Uh -huh.